Welcome everyone to the channel. This is NPC Chicken. Today's episode is Jurassic World Evolution. Now, not just about that, we're going to talk about dinosaurs while we're playing this game. And specifically, we're going to talk about just one dinosaur every episode. Today's episode is about one dinosaur in particular, one of the fastest dinosaurs in the late Cretaceous period. And it is, if we can find it, Strithiomimus. Now, Strithiomimus' name means ostrich mimic, and the reason for that is because, obviously, we're looking at it, it looks just like an ostrich. It has that long neck, it has those long legs, that the same body type as a ostrich does. It also kind of looks like a Gallimimus, but we're talking about Strithiomimus today. Uh, Strithiomimus' face also has a beak just like an ostrich does, but are you thinking that Strithiomimus evolved into an ostrich? Unfortunately, it didn't. The ostrich and Strithiomimus are two completely different species, com two completely different animals. Strithiomimus and an ostrich are what is called convergent evolution. And what that means is that they have same qualities, that are uh, they're unrelated species that have the same traits because of what its environment is. Now, Strithiomimus is kind of like an ostrich, but not completely. And an example of what convergent evolution is is kind of like how a hedgehog and a porcupine have those similar aspects of those spikes, and how a whale and a fish are similar. Now, let's look back at Strithiomimus. Strithiomimus was found in 1901, and Strithiomimus was founded, and when it was found, it was not a complete skeleton. It was some remains, not even a lot of remains. We actually still don't have a complete skeleton of Strithiomimus. Now, um, Barnum Brown, he when he found his Strithiomimus skeleton, which was uh, incomplete, he stated that Strithiomimus's hands were somewhat similar to a sloth's. Now let's look at its hands. We see down here um, that we are looking at its long claws and uh, long hands. Kind of creepy looking, right? And even though we're saying Strithiomimus is a herbivore, it could potentially also be an omnivore because of these hands and its speed. Let's talk about its speed real quick, and then we'll go back to why we think that it wasn't that Strithiomimus was an omnivore and not just an herbivore. Let's go to one that's not sleeping. <laughs> All right, so Strithiomimus's speed. Now, Strithiomimus could reach speeds from 30 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour, and that's pretty curious, especially since because Strithiomimus was from the late Cretaceous period, let's pick a carnivore, Carnotaurus, also from the late Cretaceous period. Carnotaurus could only reach speeds from 15 to 20 miles an hour. So why did Strithiomimus need to reach speeds from 30 to 60? We're thinking that the, the our, three, our theory in this is that Strithiomimus probably needed to reach those speeds because its prey was pretty fast, okay? And we're talking about, because Strithiomimus is habitat, was about a shore dwelling area, basically on river banks and whatnot. Strithiomimus's primary source of food was plants using its long um, hands to either pull plants into its beak or pull and attack crabs, shrimp, insects, and dinosaur eggs, possibly. Uh, that's what our theory is about its speed um, accompanied with its, uh, with its hands and claws. Now, um, Strithiomimus, because the late Cretaceous period was about 75 to 66 million years ago, we don't really know that much about Strithiomimus, especially since we don't have a complete skeleton of Strithiomimus, but the knowledge that we do have, we're still trying to dig and hunt about it. Um, in Jurassic, this Jurassic World evolution game, we see that Strithiomimus is primarily a plucked uh, ostrich, but 
I'm guessing Jurassic World and Jurassic Park did not get the memo that Sophiomimus did have feathers. And it had feathers not all over its body, it had feathers kind of like how an ostrich does. And look at this Strithiomimus strutting his stuff and moving at those those intense speeds that it, it had. Now Strithiomimus had three toes and three fingers and it didn't really need much about any uh, anything else about that but that is what we have for Strithiomimus. In the game this is the first dinosaur that you're able to create in the Hammond Lab Creation Center which is this little building way over here. Now, to put that building into your map, you need to have, oh, hold on, you need to have a fence around your paddock, and then you can place the Hammond Creation Lab. And the Hammond Creation Lab, when you first start out, you can only hatch uh, two at a time, and the incubation time for a Strithiomimus is pretty quick. It's, le it's uh, maybe a minute or two minutes. Um, and as you can see, or new to the game. Um, I already got the Carnotaurus ready for their next episode. Oops, spoiler alert. <laughs> but um, when you first get the game, Strithiomimus is the only dinosaur that you're able to use. It has an attack rate of three, um, defense zero, lifespan 45, um, resilience 40, visibility 74, uh, and the, aiding, the rating is eight. Now, this is the lowest rating dinosaur in the game. The in the entire game, this is the lowest rating dinosaur. So basically what I'm saying is, one, it's the cheapest. So when you first start out on the first island, you need to use this dinosaur. Um, however, uh, when you're going to the other maps, it's not recommended to use Strithiomimus as you will not be able to accomplish or beat the game or move on to the other islands. So um, in order to beat the game you need to have uh, these stars all the way to five in each island. And that's the only way to finish the game. Um, another thing is that you will have, let's go to over to what's it a reputation okay so reputation is a huge thing so reputation is going to be your science entertainment and security divisions now um, I already have entertainment a decent way up um, the, the security division we are gonna fix that in a little bit uh, by getting a little bit more strithiomimus actually let's incubate some strithiomimus incubate one and then incubate two. Okay, and that will um, open up uh, the security divisions request a little bit quicker. All right, so yep, yeah, today's episodes we talked about Strithiomimus, the ostrich mimic, and in our next video we will talk about a carnivore, um, possibly Carnotaurus, because that is our second dinosaur that we'll have in the, this game. And I hope everyone had a great time and have a better understanding of the knowledge of Strithiomimus. And see you next time. This is NPC Chick signing off.